Capricorn. This is Tanya Lee, the Shadow Priestess of Harmonia, not just your storyteller, but also an intuitive shadow life coach. Guys, if you're new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button and uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. We're going to switch the gears here to the cards themselves here. Uh-huh. Yeah. So a couple things to know with Capricorn, your June reading. Okay. Um, all of my readings are really timeless, even though I'm pulling in the energy of June. So pay attention more to the story of the past to see if this will resonate with you because I'm reading for a lot of different people. So just take what resonates, leave the rest, do not force anything to fit. And if you're looking for a private reading, the only way to book through me is through Harmonia Friends. Um, the most that you can get out of Har Harmonia Friends is the membership area. I have a membership area where you get unlimited access to exclusive content. If you become a member, it is a paid area, but it's unlimited access, including massive discounts to all of my services and the Mastering of the Mirror program that is beginning July 8th. That's what that scroll is all the way in the bottom there. Uh, check out the website for the details on there. 10 spots and there's only three spots remaining. So if you are ready to get yourself in gear for this summertime. Uh, it's a six week digital course with uh, six accountability check ins on Saturdays. If you can't be there Saturday, it is going to be recorded. Uh, you will be touching base with all of us within during the whole week. So it's not really imperative that you're there Saturday. But obviously, you'll get a lot out of it. Um, because you can ask me personal questions that that at during that time period. Um, but we have other ways of communicating with each other. So if you're looking for that accountability or feeling stuck in your life, check it out. Tier two members get $250 off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I treat my members well. I treat my members well. All right, Capricorn, let's get started. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our ascendant masters. What is going on for Capricorn? We're going to look at what your challenge is for June, okay? What your challenge is. And we're just pulling the mermaid's oracle here. Turn away. You are definitely looking and evaluating something from the past. And you may have a hard time turning away from this, moving forward. All right. Uh, you keep looking back at something here, but let's see. We're going to use the uh, double major arcana cards here now. These also have the court cards within here, but it's called the dub double major deck. Let's see what additional um, info we have on this challenge here for you. <clears throat> well, we have the queen of wands, a lot of fire energy here, Capricorn. Um, this is someone here who's very passionate, has a lot of drive, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, but this, this version of the queen of wands isn't hard at work. This is someone here who's really looking and evaluating what they have created. Um, unbothered. Unbothered, right? Not necessarily hard at work. It's like, let me enjoy this for the moment. That could be a challenge for you to enjoy the, the smaller moments here for my Capricorns. Now we have the Emperor here. More fire energy, Aries energy. This is someone here who's a boss. This is someone here who's a leader. This could be an individual. Um, it could be two individuals. Um, one is you and, and another. Um, but it could be your area here of that. There's a part of you, Capricorn, that is leveling up, boss, bossing up. But there's a need to take some downtime as well. The challenge here is you may be a higher up. You may be someone here who's in high demand. you may be dealing with someone here who's in high demand of your time and need. And it's kind of hard to turn away from those responsibilities to enjoy some of the things in life that you really truly value, like your family, your hobbies, whatever it is. You may have someone here who's asking a lot out of you. And it's like, I can't do all of that. I can't be in two places at one time.
All right, let's see what we have here now for the beginning. So I'm going to see what energy now, um, now that we know what the challenge is here for you, Capricorn, we're going to see what energy you're pulling in from the last month here or the last time you're, whenever you're listening to this, okay, even though I'm doing this in June. Let's see what the energy is, what you're pulling in here. Weakened security here with the king of coins. That's you. And the chariot cancer energy here and the two of wands. All right. So this is your energy. See, this is all about the security, the abundance, being able to invest in yourself and to care enough to nurture other things too, because you know how to take care of yourself first. What I'm finding here in this past energy for you, Capricorn, is someone here, and I just heard a knock on my door, <laughs> delivery, right? I feel like you're having a little bit of a wake-up call here, not feeling that great, overworked, overburdened, um, not really taking care of yourself, could be taking care of another more than you are yourself. I feel wanting to leave and yet you can't turn your back away from this either because of responsibilities or uh, there's something that's keeping you connected with a situation whether this is a job or a person it could be it could be someone here that uh you have a relationship and a family with but it's making you go two different directions and it's like, I can't be in both places. You know, I feel like I'm driving from here to there. All right. This could also be a, a parent, right? If you were helping out a parent and you can't turn your back on them because they're not doing well. Right. And there's a lot of responsibilities to take care of the family. But I feel that uh, there has been some decisions that you've made on moving forward, but now feeling like you can't go a certain direction because there's just no way. There's just no time. There's, there's something here about wanting to move forward, scratching your head, looking at it. But at the same time, it's like, how is that even possible? I can't, not with the amount that's on my plate. I can't, I can't do that. I can't be free of that. You know, some of you may be in a commitment where you, everything falls on you financially doing, you know, household chores, everything feels more on your shoulders, Capricorn. And I feel this need of when are you going to pick and choose you? Some of the time, some of you have some really amazing ideas to take off, to create actually more abundance for you, but you haven't been able to do so or invest in that because the door to opportunity here has been taking care of others or a specific person. Let's see what's happening for you at the beginning of this month. You definitely have a hard time turning away from this. It's almost like you want to go both directions, but you're getting exhausted by doing so. And some of you have chosen to either help out or take on something. And it's kind of like, I can do it all, but you're realizing I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. We have the wheel of fortune. Look at that. There's a door. There's a there's an, an opportunity here. But you got to take a chance on this door here, right? But there's a compromise to this. The five of swords here and the five of This is almost like woulda, coulda, shoulda energy here. Sagittarius had this a little bit. Yeah, when I did Sag Saggy's reading yesterday. Um... This is determined to be able to get an opportunity regardless. It's like, I can do it all. But I also, I mean, I don't sugarcoat. You know, I don't, Cabrera. I also feel like there is some guilt. Uh, two fives, massive change here. There's some guilt and also some pride you need to put down. You can't do it all. You're, I feel like there's something about the beginning of this month. You're going to start realizing as if you keep pushing the way you are, there's going to be mistakes happen, stains happening, angry. Um, I feel lashing out could even get angry at an individual who you chose to help or who you chose to stay in with. 
Um, but I feel this, this energy here. Oops, I put the cards in the wrong spot. <laughs> I tend to do that. I feel this energy here of you really fighting this, of you really getting angry about this. And it's like, I should have just gone this direction. Um, but I feel you're determined here to recover from the losses regardless. Um, you are determined. Here we go. Now we got the queen of coins reversed. You have a relationship here, whether it's with a job or someone that you promise to help out or to be there for. Now both of you are reversed. So I almost want to say there are some bitterness or resent resentment going on with this. And some of you feel like this person took this opportunity for you or does not even value that you've done this for them. There's lack of appreciation, I feel. But I also see, I see two sides because, you know, I'm detached from the story. I know you're not if this resonates with you. But I also see the side here that you chose this. Um, you chose to do it all. You chose to say you could do it all and be happy with it, yet you're not. So there's that accountability portion of it. But this individual, I kind of feel, says that to you. Well, you chose this. Um, I, I told you I wouldn't need this help. Or I told you I was going to be okay on my own. Or I told you that if you took this position, it was going to be more work and you weren't going to be able to do X, Y, and Z or going to be away from the family. I told you so. This person here is not told you so. All right. But it's also something about a commitment or a contract that you signed up for. But I feel both of you are fed up with one another. This could be a brawl with this individual or just annoyance. See, this person isn't going to stop taking from you because you've already said you're in. And now it's like I feel like the challenge here is turning away from this because you signed up for it. <laughs> you know, I can see why it's a challenge, but it's not making you happy. And I feel a tremendous amount of guilt, shame, but also pride because you want, you want, you were really hoping, man. You, and I think you keep a lot of this hidden in here. You were really hoping that this individual would kind of you know, apologize, but you could compromise, work it out. But what's happening is the opposite effect. It feels like now the shit's coming out. Like you're really starting to see some true colors about this person. And some of you, this is a family member, which is hard because it's like, listen, it's like, I get your stuff. I mean, they could be stubborn. I mean, the, the emperor is, is a stubborn energy. Uh, it has to have it their way. But I also feel like you have a lot of responsibilities on your own. A lot. And I feel like you're hiding the pain and trying to hide the pride, but you're also getting very passive. Um, upset. Oh, my God. And there's something about if I turn my back on this now, now I'm going to look bad. That's what it is. People are allowed to change their mind. Or, but there's something very tied into this relationship that makes you feel like walking on eggshells or you're, you're doing something secretively because you're not wanting to work at the scenario. You don't want this position. You don't want to help out. Um, you can't invest what you used to with this relationship. And there's something here about hiding that pain and not expressing your feelings because when you express your feelings, they get dismissed. Oof, and that's tough. And a lot of you are kicking yourself or wanting to go through another door that you had the opportunity to go through, but you didn't. Maybe you were afraid. Maybe you didn't think you were good enough. Or maybe you felt like um, you would always be there for this person or you're a people pleaser, especially if it's a parent of some sort here, right? Um, but now it's like you're reliving all of the past trauma, especially if this is a parent. It's like, I feel like a little kid again. Now I got to li lie to them 
and I just want to be honest with them and tell them the truth that this is too much for me. I can't do both, that they need a, a extra help. They need some assistance here. I can't fucking do it all. Let's see what your losses and your gains are for this month. I don't do reversals when I use the Rider Weight deck. I just don't. Losses. Three of Pentacles here with the Ace of Swords. This is cooperation. This is communication. The loss here this month is you're keeping it all in yourself. Like I feel like you're amongst deaf ears. You have not had the ability to be able to really speak the truth. Now, can you change this? A hundred percent. Yeah. But they might not like what they hear. They may not be able to perceive it the same way. And you have to be able to be okay with that regardless. Um, but what you're losing right now is talking clearly with this individual of how to work or how to compromise. Let's see what your gain is. I feel like you feel you're going to betray this person in a really big way. You know, nine of swords and that 10 of swords energy. It just feels really heavily like I really did not want to come off as the bad guy when I signed up for this, but the same way I, this is way more responsibility than I can do. And my challenge here is I can't even do the things that I truly enjoy. I'm always at work. I'm always at bay here for another individual or another person here um, who kind of is like, well, you signed up for it. Some of you, this could even be a spouse, you know, who's treating you that way. Let's see what the gain is. 10 of cups. Ooh, injustice. This is good. There's this is all about balance, Libra energy. You have support. You do have individuals, whether they're friends or family members here, that could actually help assist you. This is what you're gaining this month. Although you may have to cut the cords and speak the truth and lose this connection with this person or lose this, whatever you're doing for this person, I feel like you may lose this connection in a way that does not feel good, but you're also gaining back what you truly need, which is your happiness. So I do feel you are, your challenge is to turn away from this individual and to communicate it in a way that feels good to you. It may not feel good to this person or to this place. If you're leaving a job or leaving something, um, or if you're just putting your, I mean, maybe you're just, maybe you're an individual here who's like, I'm not working overtime anymore and just stating it and clearing it. And you know, you may have lost some respect in some way from this individual, but it's like, you know what? It's not worth my time and energy. I have a family. I have home. Like I want to live a little bit. So you are declaring balance, but it is very uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. The nine of swords is uncomfortable. You're nervous about this because some of you are afraid to lose this relationship entirely, this job. But it's also like if you don't try it, you're really you're missing out on all of this. So it's just a temporary pain that nine of swords Let's see what the last card of advice for you is with the Dream Oracle deck. What is the last advice card we have here, Spirit for Capricorn? Because I feel like there's a lot of anxiety this month with dealing with an individual that they feel like they're turning their back on. But, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do, Capricorn. Your happiness is, is important, too. Look at this, naked. Dare to bear all. Dare to bear it. Because you have been hiding trying to do it all far too long. And it's it's time to be vulnerable. It's time to put your pride to the side and just have that conversation and just let it happen. It does feel like you're naked because you're finally letting that guard down. You're not letting your ego get in the way. All right, guys, if this mes message resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Like I said, would love to see you over at Harmonia Friends where you can get exclusive content. But if not, this is where we part ways. You guys have a good one and take care.